When the United States moved to cut Huawei off from advanced chips, the assumption in Washington was clear. China's tech behemoth, cut off from crucial technologies, would buckle under pressure. It seemed like a strategy designed to bring the telecom titan to its knees. Washington believed it had dealt a blow that would weaken Huawei's position in the global tech race for years to come. But what happened next sent shockwaves through the industry and through global geopolitics. Instead of faltering, instead of crumbling, Huawei did the unthinkable. Against all odds, it didn't just survive. It evolved, innovated. And within mere months, Huawei shocked the world by unveiling a breakthrough no one saw coming. Rather than breaking under pressure, Huawei pulled off something that experts had long deemed impossible. Something that would send ripples of uncertainty through the corridors of global power. Huawei didn't just unveil a chip. It unveiled a vision for the future. A future that left Silicon Valley gasping. The company unveiled a 6G chip, a monumental leap forward, a technology that defied every expectation and has the potential to reshape not only global communications, but the very fabric of geopolitical power. And if that wasn't enough, Huawei's key chip supplier, SMIC, achieved the unthinkable, producing a 5 nanometer chip under the weight of US sanctions, a feat many had declared impossible. So what really just happened here? Did Washington's relentless blockade actually accelerate China's drive for self-sufficiency in tech rather than stifle it? Did the sanctions only fuel Huawei's innovative fire? And here's the kicker. If Huawei has already cracked 6G, then what does this mean for the future of global connectivity? What does it mean for the balance of power on this planet? Stick around, because what's coming next isn't just another tech development. It's a tectonic shift in how the world will connect. And it could change everything. Let's be crystal clear, 6G is not an evolution, it's a revolution. This isn't just about faster internet. This isn't just about downloading movies in the blink of an eye. 6G is something entirely different. It's a new era. We're talking speeds more than 100 times faster than 5G. We're talking networks that have near zero latency, where AI systems can respond instantly. And most incredibly, networks that can rebuild themselves in real time. Think about that. Self-healing infrastructure controlled by algorithms so smart they anticipate problems before they even arise. This isn't a step forward. This is a completely new beast. For years, experts predicted that China wouldn't even be in the race for 6G for at least another decade. Yet here we are, with Huawei unveiling a prototype that outperforms anything we've seen so far. The industry didn't just react with surprise. It was a full-blown shockwave. But how did Huawei defy the odds? One word, necessity. The brutal sanctions forced Huawei into a corner. One that, in hindsight, appears to have been the catalyst for a dramatic leap in technological innovation. With no external support and only its own resources to rely on, Huawei was pushed to innovate faster and more aggressively than anyone thought possible. Billions were funneled into domestic research and development, and Huawei accelerated its investments in everything from semiconductor technology to cutting-edge material sciences. China Daily reports that in 2023, Huawei filed more 6G patents than any other company accounting for over 20% of the world's 6G patents. Patents are blueprints, yes, but Huawei's execution has been nothing short of groundbreaking. This is no mere collection of theoretical ideas, this is a disruptive force. The chip war, long dominated by Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung, had been thought to be an unwinnable battle for China. For years, analysts agreed that China couldn't produce chips smaller than 7 nanometers without access to ASML's extreme ultraviolet, EUV, lithography technology, a technology that the US had successfully blocked from reaching China's shores. Yet somehow, against all odds, SMIC, Huawei's key chip supplier, has now produced a working 5 nanometer chip without the EUV machines the US has withheld. This breakthrough defies conventional wisdom and has sent shockwaves through the semiconductor industry. How did they achieve this? SMIC developed workarounds using deep ultraviolet lithography and advanced multi-patterning techniques, methods previously dismissed as impossible for such small transistors. These techniques, once seen as impractical, have now turned into a game-changing reality, defying predictions and shattering the belief that China was too far behind to compete at the highest levels. The implications? Massive. Bloomberg analysts estimate Huawei and SMIC have invested over 30 billion in domestic semiconductor research and development to reach this technological frontier. And they've done it under the shadow of some of the most stringent sanctions the tech world has ever seen. But this is not just about chips. It's about control. It's about who will dominate the next era of global technology. For decades, Western telecom giants have dictated the global tech landscape. Western companies set the pace for how the world connects building the foundations of our digital infrastructure. But now, 
Huawei's 6G is threatening to upend that entire order, not just with speed but with something far more powerful, control. A report from CounterPoint Research indicates that 6G will rely on satellite-based networks, AI-driven automation, and quantum-level security. This will make traditional infrastructure models completely obsolete. Huawei's edge in this new frontier is undeniable. Its patents are securing its lead, and its influence is growing by the day. Currently holding over 20% of the world's 6G patents, Huawei's next move is not just about inventing technology, it's about setting the global standard. If Huawei leads in both patents and network architecture, the digital economy, including finance, defense, AI, and more, could fall under Chinese influence. The entire framework of global digital infrastructure could be written in Huawei's image. According to the Financial Times, Huawei's breakthrough in 6G could disrupt the current Western monopoly over AI development, telecommunications, and cloud infrastructure. For decades, the U.S. has dominated these sectors, with firms like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud controlling the flow of global data. But Huawei's 6G technology has the potential to obliterate that status quo. What if Huawei's 6G allows for direct AI-to-AI -AI communication across the globe, bypassing traditional bottlenecks and enabling real-time, AI-driven decision-making in every sector? If Huawei succeeds in scaling its 6G infrastructure, Western firms could find themselves scrambling for relevance. Dr. Paul Triolo, a technology analyst at Albright Stonebridge Group, warns that if Huawei deployed 6G before the West, the ramifications for digital sovereignty could be devastating, catastrophic even. Nations that rely on Huawei's technology could find themselves beholden to Chinese tech infrastructure, giving China unprecedented control over everything from AI decision-making to the flow of critical financial data. Meanwhile, the US, Japan, and the EU are desperately trying to catch up. Billions are being poured into R&D, and governments are planning countermeasures. But experts believe China's head start may be impossible to overcome, as Huawei secures its own semiconductor supply chain. Huawei is not just building a new tech product. It's laying the foundation for a geopolitical earthquake. The Wall Street Journal reports that the United States and its allies are already coordinating efforts to prevent Huawei's 6G infrastructure from entering global markets. The White House has announced a $3 billion fund to develop U.S. alternatives, while the EU is debating measures that could restrict the rollout of Chinese 6G technology. But here's where it gets even more intense. China is already pushing back. SMIC has secured deals in the Middle East, Africa, and parts of South America. Regions that, despite U.S. pressure, are open to Huawei's 6G technology. The U.S. strategy of isolation is being met with a rising wave of international support for China's tech. If Washington's efforts to block Huawei follow the same pattern as the 5G bans from 2019, we could be heading toward a fractured internet, one where the globe is divided between two parallel worlds, one powered by Huawei's 6G, the other by Western alternatives. The world could see a new digital iron curtain dividing the internet into two opposing systems, each with its own rules and standards. Huawei's 6G is not just about a faster internet. It's about redefining the future of AI-powered cities, industries, healthcare, and finance. Imagine entire cities powered by 6G, AI-driven systems controlling traffic, managing energy consumption, and even optimizing emergency response times in real time. McKinsey and Company predicts that smart cities could reduce energy use by 40% and improve emergency response times by 60% all made possible by the immense capabilities of 6G. Huawei has already launched pilot projects in Shenzhen, testing AI-driven 6G applications that control energy grids, traffic flow, and even monitor public health trends. Dr. Richard Windsor, a former tech analyst, describes Huawei's 6G infrastructure as the foundation for transforming entire cities into interconnected digital organisms, where every aspect of urban life is seamlessly integrated into an AI-powered system. But with this immense power comes immense risks. What happens when one company, one nation, controls not just the infrastructure but the very heartbeat of the global digital economy? What happens when an entire world's data flows through the hands of a single entity? The stakes couldn't be higher. Huawei is not just building the next generation of technology. It is building the future of global power.